also after a very scenic and very tourist ridden walk to our hotel which took about 20 minutes I'd say we have now arrived and this is our room and our little home so transport wise as you can imagine boats are a real option in Venice in fact the main option in some parts um, our route to our hotel was pedestrian nice, so we didn't have the option of getting a um, water boat water taxi so we actually had to walk but I noticed that the way we got from the airport to the main bus station the main area was actually by bus um, there was the option there for the water taxi but it was kind of I think it's over 30 euros for the um, water taxi as opposed to eight euros for the bus and everybody seemed to be getting the bus so we figured it must be a good idea and it's not like you'd get much scenery either for that short trip so that would be my tip so if you're traveling here get the bus to the main area and then you can figure out whether you want to water taxi it up or walk and just soak it in Here we are at the pier where all the boats come to dock. It's absolutely bustling and I'm a bit scared how I'm going to manoeuvre my way through the crowds. So this is what you encounter literally every maybe 50, 100 yards. In Venice and I'm taking literally one step at a time because my pregnant self can only handle so much cardio but essentially there is a bridge and a bridge but I don't feel like there's a lot of places to walk or sit down should I say so you kind of just have to keep on it so with my travel weary bare no makeup face and my voice is slightly going but I thought I'd give you a very quick kind of first impressions of Venice um it's beautiful it's really pretty there is water boats and bridges everywhere so not like anywhere I've seen before it's so packed the square and the whole route to our hotel was so busy so obviously everybody's cottoned on that it's the place to be um but I am most excited about the gelato because that is going to be something I have to have when I come to Italy so I will sort myself out, freshen up a little bit, fix my face and catch you later. This beautiful building is the Basilica I believe and this is one of the main squares of Venice. more leisurely today um, not too much walking for myself and we're just going along the river as you can see and about the canal sorry but everywhere you go there's a different monument so look what we've just uncovered it's the most amazing church so we're gonna keep looking grab a boat taxi and explore some more so we are at the highest peak in Venice overlooking the square and I'm going to show you exactly what we can see because the views are amazing. So these are the best views in Venice right from the highest point. Venice on our last day and it's 
very, very mild. So we're just going to jump on a boat and find our way. And we're just getting to the boat taxi little stop now. So I'll check in shortly. So today is our last day. I am literally wearing my Air 4 outfit because it's a really cool day actually in Venice. It's major cloud cover, quite downcast. It's not cold, but it's definitely not the sunny days we've had before. And we're just about to hop on to our water taxi and go explore some palaces and just see what else is going on on our last day. So possibly the grandest um, scene I've literally seen in the whole of Venice and it is the Dove Palace. So I'm going to give you a little view.